creative world. Today we will be seeing how to crochet a simple and cute bookmark. So let's begin. Before that let's see the materials that we require to do this. Materials that we require are a crochet hook. I am using here a 4mm crochet hook, a scissor and two yarn. I am using here a green color and an orange color yarn. You can use whatever color that you like. So now let's get started and see how to do the bookmark. So first we have to put our yarn over our fingers and take the yarn back like this and now bring it forward again by making an X shape like this. Now we have to put our hook keeping it facing it upwards into this on the first side, twist it, turn it around and pull through it. And now we can just pull the yarn. So now what we have to do, first we have to do 20 chains. So keep your hook like an X shape, pull through, X, pull through, X shape, pull through. Like this, let's do 20 chains. So I have just done 20 chains. In my previous videos, I have taught you how to do all the crochet basics. If you haven't seen that, please check it out. I will put the link in the description box below. So now let's continue. I have done 20 chains now. I am going to do one more chain extra. And now I am going to yarn over like this. And leaving the chain that we have just done, we are going to work into a second last chain. And in this chain, we are going to put our we're going to yarn over first and then put our hook into this chain. There are two parts here, put it into the middle and then pull over the yarn. Now we have three, pull over, um, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's follow the same procedure again. Yarn over, put it into our next chain. Then yarn, then pull through the yarn. Now we have to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So let's see once more. Yarn over like this. Keep our egg hook like this. Yarn over. Now we have two, right? The next chain here, you can see there's two things, right? In this next chain here, there's a hole in the middle. I'm going to put my hook into this hole. And now I am going to keep my hook underneath the yarn. Pull this yarn through and bring it out of the chain. Now we have three, yarn over like this and pull through the two, then I yarn over and pull through the second three, two. Let's repeat the steps all over. Okay. our last double crochet as well we have got a nice strip like this and now what we're going to do is we're going to attach another color to our bookmark so first we're going to take the other color the starting part and now keep the yarn like this put it over and pull through the yarn through this nothing else we're just pulling the yarn through the hoop. now what we're other orange color one and now make a knot small easy simple knot to make a loop for this so that it won't come up it will stick it will be nice and tight too and now we can just turn our whole thing facing our left hand taking our hook putting it into the first here you can see the first right here I suppose you can see the first chain in this we're going to insert our hook and after we have just inserted it we're going to yarn over like this as normal we'll just yarn over see and now we can just put a chain to start off again now what we're going to do we're going to do the same thing again from the starting till the end we're going to do double crochets again so let's see how to do that once more yarn over put it into our next chain here you can see the and now yarn over from the bottom we have three in our hook 
yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two same again yarn over put the hook inside the chain next chain and now we have three yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two same as we did last time we're just following the same steps again and again so let's do this again throughout the whole thing Okay, so now what we're going to do at the end of the other side, we have the yellow. This yellow, what we're going to do is you're going to cut it a little bit, leave some um, yellow little yellow yarn, little bit, and cut it with a scissor. Now we are going to leave this here. We'll deal with it later on afterwards. Now we're going to take in our yellow yarn back again, and like we did before, we're going to attach it by keeping it here pulling the yarn through this loop now we have to tighten pull the green yarn now make a knot here simple knot only normal knot what we use now turn it to this so that our crochet bookmark the hook side this side will be in our right side and the others will be in our left hand side now put insert our hook into the first chain can see a hole here right insert our hook into this hole and now pull through the yellow yarn and now do a chain and now I cut off my green color as well leaving a little bit as we did before now we are going to do the same thing same double crochet again full throughout the whole chains that we have for a green so once again yarn over and first put three chains I mean two chains and now yarn over and put our hook into the next chain that is that our next chain here will be this one and now we can yarn over from the inside and we have three pull through two and pull through two yarn over put it inside the next chain now yarn over after you put it inside keep it underneath the yarn pull over we have three now in a hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through and the next two same procedure yarn over put it inside our next chain now Keep the hook underneath the yarn over and pull through the yarn. We have three yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through. Same procedure again, we'll repeat yarn over, put it inside our next chain, then pull through, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. So we'll just follow the same steps till the end. Here we are, we've just finished. So I have just finished my bookmark. It is like this. So let's see what to do next. Now we're going to next take the scissor again and leave some space and cut the yarn again. And now using the hook, just pull it. This is how we have. We have a lot of extras. Now let's see how to do that. How to remove those as well. So to remove the extras, you can just tie a knot at the back side and then using a scissor cut off the yarn, extra yarn. But in the below side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a tassel 
So I'm not going to cut off it. I'm going to use this as well for my tassel. Okay, so now I'm going to use my yellow color yarn and I'm going to cut. Measure how much long, you can choose how long you want your tassel to be. So I'm going to choose this much length. I'm just going to keep it stained like this and repeating it. Okay, so I'm going to do half orange and half uh, green color. So I think this is enough. And now I'm going to cut this much. Left off. We have this much left now. So we would have formed a sort of hoop like this. Right? And now we have a top part here. And I'm going to cut my scissor. I'm going to cut the yarn using my fingers. Now we will just form strands. And what I'm going to do with these strands is that I'm going to attach it to my bookmark. So, taking our yarn and putting our hook inside, just pull the yarn through it. And now, just let it leave it like this. Okay? Like this, just do all the yarns that you have just cut, how much you want ever want. Put our hook through, grab our yarn out and now you would have a good strand okay so now we have it i have just pulled out all the yarns i've added two uh, green colors which have made four line four yarn strands as well included in here and now i have also used another yarn and i put a knot tying it and tied at the back we are a cute and easy bookmark whenever we are there we can just continue reading and then keep our bookmark here after we have just you read it and close it and when we need it again you can just open it and read it what an easy bookmark to make all book lovers will love this gift a lot okay then so if you like this video do like share and subscribe to our creative world and thank you for watching bye bye